Hello, friends and fellow artists. Fellow artists sounds so weird. Anyway, today I wanted to talk a little bit about getting into a gallery or participating in a group gallery or finding the right thing that fits what you're looking for at the moment in your career. Uh, and I think that it's different for everybody. So there's not one particular way of doing any of this. And I think that each one of us is artists need to figure out on our own. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So I decided to figure out what it was I was looking for as far as getting into a space or showing my artwork. I've been doing art shows for over 20 years and I took a break because I just got burnt out. I decided that I wanted to still show some of my artwork, but I don't have a, a huge body of, of work to show. So I, I really couldn't do many options for me. And personally, I just, I had taken a break. I've been on hiatus so and traveling a lot. So when I came back to Asheville, I was able to get started again in painting and really have embraced it. I've truly enjoyed it. And it's absolutely something that I have very strong passion about right now. I wanted to put some of my paintings into some kind of situation, but I also didn't know how well it would be received. Still don't have a lot of confidence about the work I'm doing, so I'm working on that every day. And I just felt like what I wanted to do was maybe show some, some paintings in a small environment. And when I saw a friend who was in one of our smaller co-ops here, it works a little like a co-op, so you're renting a space and you're also working a certain number of shifts per month. It just felt right. It just, it, it looked right, it felt right. So I approached one of the owners and they were just wonderful people. I just totally love their vibe. I realized that this might be the right thing. So I started exploring the idea of being in a smaller co-op type of studio. And I think in the end that I chose right for me, we'll see. Um, and I think it really just depends on, again, the volume of work you have, the volume of work you can produce. I'm not a really fast painter, and so there's, there's the issue of if I do start selling, or hopefully when I do start selling, more pieces of work in this gallery, I wanna make sure that, that I can replenish what's, what's being moved out. So if, if that's another thing to consider, if you can make enough product or you have a lot on hand. For me, I had to consider the whole idea of, of how often I, I paint and how often I can replenish product if, if it moves quickly, I'm hoping that it does move quickly. So those are things to take into consideration. Also, if you want to be part of a co-op, a lot of cities and a lot of places I have friends in New Orleans and they are part of, uh, like they do three different co-ops in their area, different neighborhoods, and it works great for them. But I think one of them is literally like you own part of the studio. I'm not sure how that works, but that suddenly, you know, might take on a different type of responsibility for you. So those are things to consider. I travel a lot, so for me, having something like that would not work well for me. Even this, what I'm doing at this co-op that I'm, I just joined, is maybe challenging just because I am still traveling a lot this next year in 2020, and I'm not gonna be around as often as I'd hoped. But they were super cooperative and very loving and sweet about the whole idea that that we can make this work. So now what I'm doing is I'm banking hours so that so that I'm kind of working more than I normally would and that way I have I'm kind of covering the hours of all this time that I'll be missing when I'm traveling. So those are things to consider if you you know how much time you have that you can that you can participate in working in a gallery. Some people just don't have the time and if you and if you don't feel like you can do things while you're in the gallery, like paint or, or do other creative things, then that may be frustrating for you as well. So I think it all depends on the type of person you are and the personality that you have. Because I've done art shows for years and years, for over 20 years, I feel like I have a certain level of ability and tolerance for that. 
<laughs> it's not too high anymore. Uh, the tolerance does seem to kind of get not so good anymore as I get older anyway. I think it's, it's good to get out of the studio. It's good to be around other artists. It's good to just be visible and talk to people about art. So, so if you have the time to do that, you wanna make sure that, that that's you know, something that works for you as well. Today I am drinking a California Cabernet Sauvignon. Very nice. Um, and I did buy some Portuguese wine yesterday, so I'm very excited because we're going to Portugal next spring and I wanted a little preview of what kind of wines we might be excited about finding. So uh, maybe next time I'll be doing a little Portuguese wine. So as far as getting a gallery, studio, co-op, or whatever works for you, I think it's just a matter of personal choice. It's a matter of finding something that's a good fit. I think it's a matter of if you have enough artwork. It's a matter of if you can produce enough artwork. And of course, whether or not the, the studio or co-op has the traffic that you really need to justify your expense. So those are all things to balance out and make sure that you're taking those into consideration. So if you're in a gallery or a studio or a co-op of some kind, I'd love to hear about it. If you can leave a comment down below, kind of share your experience of what you've actually had happen and, um, and tell us about kind of how that's worked for you and if it's profitable or not. Thanks again. And if you like this video and you like to talk about art, then subscribe and hit the notification bell. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being here. I just love doing these talks and showing you more stuff about how I'm making my artwork and, and my processes. It's been a pretty exciting ride so far. So thank you for being here and remember to keep creating. Salute.